Yes, people, welcome back to the 1894. I'm Daryl. I've got Luke with me here today as a new member of the 1894. Luke, mate, how's things? Good, mate, thank you. How are you? You alright? Pretty good, man, yeah. I'm looking forward to getting into the transfers. We can get right into it now. So, first piece of news comes out from Ekram Connor saying that Man City will meet with Borussia Dortmund about Erling Haaland. City already has paid about 130 million to get him into the club. Right, what do you think of that, Luke? It's one of those moves that I feel like. I can't really sort of justify it or say it's real until we see more sources reporting it because I know we look, we want Haaland. I know you and everyone, but we know we want Haaland. But it's one of those deals where like, I probably have to see a bit more development before we actually believe it. I mean, if, it ha- if it's true, brilliant. Cause I, th- I think we need Haaland more than anyone. But it just seems to me that if it's 130 million, I think that's going to be rejected anyway by, by Dortmund. So, I mean, we'll see, but I'm not sure on that one at the moment. Same you. It's it's one of which, if it comes out from what I saw, you'll start to believe it. But the one thing I can believe is that City want Haaland. You know, they want kind of want Haaland. They want one of the two because we need an extra goal scorer to come in and say, you know, we've lost Sergio Aguero. Torres isn't probably not ready yet, and Gabby is too inconsistent. So you know, I can see a bit of truth to this. I can see why Pep would tell them to meet up. But we're going to have to wait for more sources to come out with that. Right. So another transfer side I'm sure you're all sick of by now. It's Harry Kane. There's been multiple things that have come out. It's believed that apparently City are still very serious with the candy and they're going to put in more than their 100 million starting over. That's from Eurosport. Uh, uh, what do you think of that, Luke? Yeah, I mean, it's one of those deals with people that's going to keep going on and on this summer until we actually... He, he gets back on holiday, actually, he actually does his, tells his desire to leave because all I'm seeing is the same stories over and over again. I was being linked with him, I was being, offering 100 million for him and it's just a bit mixed at the moment. I mean, I like to sort of see where it goes a bit. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure there's, there's an element of truth in that, but I don't think we'll get much development on that probably until we're, I reckon, always the end of the month. I think it's going to be a long one, unfortunately, which is a shame, but I think it will be, which is really annoying. Yeah, that was- the only bit of Kane news that came out, Romano had a quote saying that we will have to break the bank, which I think is fairly normal. You know, I think that's going to happen when we have to sign such a high caliber player as Kane. And then Duncan Castles from Transfer Podcast said that there's already been a hundred million offer for Harry Kane, and that we are also working on a Jack Grealish deal, which we'll talk about later. But Harry Kane, you know, I think everyone would be happy if he comes in. If you don't get, if you don't get like an out and out goal scorer. It's probably going to be a long enough season for City anyway. So, you know, a bit of luck we get any striker, but mate, hopefully not the one we're about to talk about. Right. So the report we said didn't want to happen. Antoine Griezmann. There's been two so there's been uh, two things from Mundo Deportivo to say that apparently Man City are eyeing Griezmann as a backup for Kane, not a backup for Kane, as an alternative to Harry Kane. And um, I think a day later it came out. That official Man City sources have flatly denied that the club are interested in Barcelona player Antoine Griezmann. Now, personally, I'm happy. I don't like Griezmann. I don't like Griezmann. I think he's a, he could end up being a cancer in the club. He just doesn't seem like a nice bloke. And he's not a very good footballer. Luke, what do you think? Yeah, I think Griezmann is one of those players that I don't think really has even achieved his ceiling either. He's one of those players that I don't think is as good as everyone makes, makes it out to be. And also, obviously, recent events with him and Dembele as well. No, thank you. But yeah, yeah I just I, I can't see the club paying all that money and paying all them wages for a player that of who's not even that much better than Aguero is right now. I just I don't think for me he's the right offer anywhere. I think Barcelona as well. We should be we should be trying to avoid Barcelona at the moment. Any kind of negotiations with them at the moment, anyway. But I think at the moment, no, I won't have him at all at the club. Yeah, no, I, I'm the same. I don't think he has that that killer instinct that we, we'd look for. I mean, when I watch him during the Euros, you know, he, he celebrated an equaliser with Hungary by dancing. But, um, you know, ho- hopefully, hopefully we don't get him. He's not that brilliant. I think he's kind of just, like you said, recency boys kind of overrates him. And Romano also said about him that there are no contacts with City for Griezmann. And by the time, by the time this comes out, it'll probably be near confirmed that... Uh, I'm pretty sure he's gone back to Atletico Madrid in the swap deal with Sell. Oh, well, yeah. I think it's one of those... That's, uh, we kind of realise... It's sorry, but you, you kind of... It's one of those deals that, you know, that you always see, you know, every summer, like a club swap deal with another club, and it's just constant deals and, you know, backhanders behind the scenes. It's one of the things I'm not really surprised by, but it's good that we're not getting him, which is the main thing. Okay, so a quick change of pace from the strikers. We'll move back in position to the midfield. 
News has come out that apparently Ibe Basuma could join Man City this summer, I think. He's a great ball. I know he, Arsenal have been in for him. City are obviously, they could be leading the race we got there. That comes from FR Blue Moon on Twitter. What do you think, Luke? It, I rate Basuma. He's one of, the be- one of the better midfielders I've seen in the league in the last year. Although, again, like the Haaland source, it just seems to me that it's one source and not much more to go on it. I mean, look, if we get him, brilliant. But for me as well, it's wondering where enough he fits into the system because we've got so many midfielders as it is right now, including like Doyle, who wants to come into the team. It just seems like another another player that, that all would probably block Lavia and Doyle getting into the team. And don't be wrong, if we get him, brilliant. But I just don't think this, it's one of those things that's going to happen, unfortunately, unless we get rid of Gundogan or someone leaves. But... It would be nice, but again, it's one of the things that we'll have to sort of see and watch the space when it comes to, 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 to Basuma anyway. Yeah, I, I think Basuma is fantastic. You know, I think he, he is an A for Brighton as it is, but he could end up being a holding midfielder, a defensive midfielder who can progress the ball. I think Pep could definitely do that for him. It was talking about how the, trend, the process could move fairly quickly, so even if we throw in a bid, I'm pretty sure that Brighton have already signed a replacement for him. They got uh, Mwepu from RB Leipzig. Yeah, he, he's meant to be very, very good. But we'll go on to our next player anyway. What I've got in the picture behind me, Jack Grealish. Uh, we said earlier that City are working on the move. That's from Duncan Castles. But Priest Observer, who uh, is a pretty sure an Aston Villa correspondent, he said the talks are yet to progress with uh, City with, with City for Jack Grealish. Um, but before I go on to the rest of the source, well, what do you make of Grealish? Hey, would you love him here? Of course I would, yeah. He's a brilliant player. I mean, I feel like he didn't get used much for England um, as much as I think like, he should have been for the, the Euros. But again, the squad was incredible as it is running anyway to get to a final. But moving on behind the Grealish himself, I think it'll be a great move for us. I think if Bernardo Silva ends up leaving, which I think he probably will do if he's not happy here, I think that's a good move for us to get him in. Now, again, like Harry Kane, it'll be one of those things that I think we'll have to wait until he's back on holiday before any progression on the move happens. But... Hopefully we'll get an update on the actual bid and whether anything comes through with Villa and City in the future. But if we do get him, I would absolutely love that sign him. Amazing. Brilliant player. Great, Grealish, like, you, you know what we, what we mean. If if we don't sign Kane, he can play the first nine. He can play anywhere across the front three, it seems. He can drop back into the midfield. I think he'd be a superb sign already. There's talks of it. Uh, this is coming from Footy Insider. It's saying that City are preparing a 90 million bid. And now that the Euros are over, we can push on for our signers that makes sense but 90 million is it, it's a lot of money it's a lot of money I think if we get Grealish it kind of unless we sell someone and resign still was probably not getting a striker and Paris or wherever it falls nine until maybe next year but you know it's I think he's such a good player that it'll end up being worth it I mean United paid it for Pogba we'd be paying more than United paid for Pogba I think I, I, I can't see a world in which we get Grealish and it doesn't work out you know what I mean so that's all the news for today. We're going to keep this updated as we get it. Just something that I'd like to put out there. We're getting very, very close to 300 subscribers. So like, share it around, comment, do whatever. Just any help would be appreciated. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.